Assalamu alaikum. Today uh, I will teach you about PID controller. PID. PID means uh, proportional integral and derivative. So if you search on the YouTube, you will get lots of videos on what is PID and what is PID controller. But you will get less video that will define the PID controller with the PLC logic very easily. So today uh, I will teach you uh, how to, you can use the PID controller. So I will not discuss about the theory of PID controller, rather I want to discuss about the practical of PID controller. So why we will use the PID controller? Like uh, we have a tank, inside the tank there is a steam. So I want to make the temperature of the tank should be like 400 degree 400 degree centigrade so this is my requirement then there is a heater so the sorry so the steam flow steam flow will increase to increase the temperature in the same way steam flow will decrease to reduce the temperature so how you how you will control the steam flow so if I use PID controller we can do it very easily so we must use flow control valve that is actuator valve and this valve will control with 4 to 20 milliampere signal or 0 to 10 volt signal now come to a point we have two analog one analog input and one analog output one analog input that is the temperature of the tank we can take it uh, with the temperature controller second one analog output that is steam flow valve my requirement is to keep the temperature of the tank is 400 degree okay so my target is you have to control this steam flow valve in the right way that keep the temperature of the tank is 400 degrees centigrade. Now uh, I am showing you the Siemens logo PLC for the PID controller. Uh, you will see uh, PID controller is here. Uh, this PI controller is almost same PI controller and PID controller. Now I have just inserted the PI controller and if I double click the controller uh, you will see uh, you know uh, one thing I, I can say you that if you watch my previous video about the PLC analog system the PLC analog system there is one engineering value and one uh, voltage or current signal so engineering value sometime the value is 0 to 2, 7, 6, 4, 8 this value and for this PLC, this PLC, the engineering value is 0 to 1000. So you know, the more the value, the more the precision you will get. Okay, uh, let's come to the uh, problem. So uh, you see that the minimum value is uh, 0 and the maximum value is 1000. So uh, I will set the value here 400 degrees centigrade. You know, what was, what was our requirement? That our requirement was the tank temperature should be 400 degrees centigrade that means this is the set value okay set point you can say set point okay so in the set point i have given the 400 degrees centigrade so what i say uh, that output will control that means output is uh, steam flow valve this steam flow valve will control automatically but if i want to uh, insert if I want to apply a manual system that if I uh, apply the manual system then fixed voltage or fixed control will go to the analog output so for this we can fix analog output to suppose uh, 300 this is the value we know that if we supply 300 value the temperature will be 400 approximately this is not necessary for the PID controller but I have just keep this uh, as a manual value manual value you know 
uh, if you design an automation system uh, you must uh, keep some manual option and that if your uh, automation system not work properly then uh, manual system should work so I am keeping here 300 degree centigrade okay I am hitting ok so now you see the function in the first uh, first port I should connect a uh, make contact that is I1 and I am connecting I1 ok so what is I1 if this I1 is high then the automatic system will be automatic and if this uh, I1 is low then the system will be manual that means if it is 0 then manual if it is 1 then automatic and the second one the, the port is for the reset button I can insert a reset button here uh, I just name it I2 so connect it here ok so these two are the digital these two are digital ok now I am inserting the analog input that is I have said that the temperature of the sensor there is the temperature of the tank this sensor will show the temperature of the tank so I am connecting analog contact here ok that is AI1 that means analog contact I1 and connect the value ok uh, I have already said you that the analog input uh, we are using two analog one is analog input and one another is analog output so this AI1 is analog input and I will uh, give you the analog output now ok so for the analog output uh, I have just taken analog contact here but I, am, I will just replace the contact with the this function because I will not put the analog value directly rather this function will put the analog value ok I am just pressing this PI controller so this will take the value from the function and the final is analog output ok so you understand uh, what I want to say you that uh, this is the only analog input and this is the only analog output so analog input will say the temperature of the tank and analog output will give the command to the steam flow valve to control the temperature with 400 degree centigrade ok now uh, I will run the simulation here is the simulation button if I run the simulation ok uh, play the simulation one minute okay now you see the graph uh, in the graph aq this is the analog output that means red is analog output and the pb is the process value this is the current value that means this is the current temperature of the tank and this is the sp sp means uh, set point you see uh, th this green line is the set point uh, we have set the point as 400 degree so this is 350 this is 45 so this is the 400 line so this is our required temperature so I have said you that we have uh, applied a manual control so we have keep the manual control uh, you see that in the manual control we have keep the 300 uh, output so now the function is running with the manual because the I1 is 0 so if I turn one the you see that this is the output 300 uh, the temperature is 0 but the output is 300 constant as this is the manual is running so I will uh, turn to the automatic system for the automatic system uh, I will just turn on this I1 ok if I hit the turn on I1 ok now I is 1 you see that the graph of the output AQ is now changing it's trying to make it 400 degree centigrade by changing its graph you see that the it is in increasing decreasing increasing decreasing temperature ok so what I am telling that uh, you see now uh, this is sending the 640 value to the uh, output so that means 640 means the uh, ok one minute this is the steam flow valve so you see the value is 740 that means the steam flow valve is uh, around 77 percent 78 percent open 
so the more the the valve will open the more steam will go and the more steam will enter the tank the temperature will high with the more now uh, let's come to the point so now around 88 percent steam valve open so you know the temperature of tank is increasing so i am increasing manually the temperature okay uh, i am increasing the temperature okay you see that while i am increasing the temperature while i am increasing the temperature the steam valve is decreasing okay the more i am increasing the steam valve is decreasing you know now it's seven percent the more increasing the more decreasing the more increasing more decreasing you see that is 500 more decreasing more increasing more decreasing you see the uh, the year here this is the process value the green is process value and this is the set value and the red is the output so you see from the graph the more i increase the process value that means tank temperature the less the flow valve will open now the temperature is around 83 degrees centigrade so the 42 percent is open so if i make it 400 around then only the value will fixed otherwise it is not fixed you see that it is changing time to time 450 448 440 that means this value is trying to make the tank temperature 400 degree so now i am making the temperature 400 degree okay i am trying to make you see the temperature is uh, decreasing okay 400 degrees centigrade i am making 400 degree you can look at the graph also the temperature is temperature is uh, falling the valve is also working in the same way so when only the temperature is 400 degrees centigrade that is our required temperature and the set value okay you see that the now the set point green and the uh, process value blue they are in the same line so the red is the output okay you see that output is now fixed do you know why fixed because that the plc know that now the plc the tem uh, temperature of the tank is 400 degree fixed so 400 degree fixed temperature with the value of 478 so the output analog output no need to change anymore so it will continue until the value changes if i change the value if i change the value again it is trying try to uh, fluctuate it if i make the value again fixed okay then the value is also fixed that means that plc is now happy that it's gain the perfect tank temperature that is 400 degrees centigrade so now plc know that 481 if if it's, if it's open 48 percent of the flow valve then the temperature of the tank is 400 degrees centigrade i think you will understand and thanks for watching please share and comment and like and if you have any question uh, you can mail me or you can comment and i'll try my best to answer answer thanks a lot for watching assalamu alaikum